श्री जोहार सरकार मिस्टर सरकार देर इज अलोकेशन ऑफ फिफ्टीन मिनट्स फॉर यू बेगर पार्टन सर फिफ्टीन मिनट्स फिफ्टीन मिनट I am sure you'll give me some extra time, sir, because others have had. So uh, my only uh, request is that uh, I be allowed to speak without <coughs> interruption, because I am going to speak on very factual basis. It is a speech made by the President of India based on inputs given by the government, and there are certain comments on it. So I'll start with say para three, where the President talks about good governance. Now I look at my friends on both sides and ask them that when you visit a sarkari office, do you see this good governance, or have the rates gone up? I mean, it's just an open question. Do you see, do you see good governance in sarkari offices, or do you see, uh, do you see certain other obstructions? Now, instead of going by a statement made in the president's speech. I will take up an international comparison given by the World Bank. The World Bank's global global economy government efficiency index. Government efficiency index puts India at number 66. Number 66, the lowest among developed countries, and we are behind Botswana. Pata nahi kaha? Fiji, Mauritius, Lithuania, Latvia, vagare. We are behind. So. if we spend more time on actual governance rather than on advertising slogans and tag lines made by ad agencies instead of image boosting things could have taken place in the last 10 years or the second part relates to the continuous drumming of gdp 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 that we are the fifth largest gdp country in the world i admit लेकिन जब जीडीपी के पानी पिएंगे याद करना किसने वो कुओं खोदे थे हु बिल्ड द फाउंडेशन फॉर दिस जीडीपी बट व्हेन वी टॉक ऑफ थ्री ट्रिलियन ना फाइव ट्रिलियन जीडीपी बाय 2024 अ प्रॉमिस मेड बाय द प्राइम मिनिस्टर वी आर इन 2024 एंड वी आर नो वे नियर फोर ट्रिलियन पांच ट्रिलियन के बाद तो छोड़िए चार ट्रिलियन तक नहीं पहुंचा कोई बात नहीं कोई बात नहीं इट इट वी विल ऑल मेक इट बट जीडीपी द वे वी कंप्यूट इट इज द ग्रॉस वेल्थ ऑफ द नेशन एज अ होल व्हिच इंक्लूड्स द ऑब्सीन डिग्रीज ऑफ वेल्थ एक्यूमुलेटेड ड्यूरिंग द 10 इयर्स बाय द ओलिगार्क्स एंड बिग हाउसेस दिस इज अ गवर्नमेंट एज एवरीवन नोस फॉर द रिच बाय द रिच so we talk of gdp in terms of you and me per capita gdp per capita gdp india's rank is 120th in the world 120 in the world 120th rank in the world with only 2400 dollars that's all so we must understand the gdp i am quoting and i can give it any time please please अंबानी अदानी जिंदल एंड वेदांत अग्रवाल दिस इज वॉट आई कॉल दी आजा जी डी पी बिकॉज हम लोग तो है जाजा जी डी पी वी बिलोंग टू दाजा ग्रुप ऑफ जी डी पी जाओ तुम लोग याद रखिए दैट इन इक्वालिटी हैज रीच इन इक्वालिटी हैज रीच इन सेन प्रपोर्शन अंडर दिस गवर्नमेंट इंटरनेशनल रिपोर्ट से दैट इन इक्वालिटी इज फार वर्स दैन इन कॉलोनियल टाइम्स आप लोग बातों 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 पर कॉलोनियल कॉलोनियल बोलते ना द सेकेंड पॉइंट आई वॉन्ट टू रेज इज ऑन पैरा फोर ऑफ द ऑनरेबल प्रेसिडेंट एड्रेस माई गवर्नमेंट बजट सर दैट मी हम दी सबमिट दैट एज आई स्टैंड बिफोर यू there is an economic blockade of west bengal i am using the term not deprivation an economic blockade of bengal there are many opposition states that are suffering from pinches and cuts but where bengal is concerned we are stopped from 1 lakh 23358 crores 1.23 lakh crores for narega pmay pm ग्राम ग्राम सड़क योजना एनएचएम सेंट्रल फोर्ट सेंट्रल सब्सिडी 
40,000 of deprivation in the last two years makes it a total of 1,71,000 crores of deprivation. We are specially targeted our funds for cyclone. People whose houses have been de devastated by cyclone, Amphan, Yas, Bulbul, Patani, 10 years ago, they have not received any compensation. 870 crores of health sector funds are illegally stopped to us by linking it. I am using the word illegally. I am an officer. I was an officer. I know which part is legal and which part is not legal. A 15th Finance Commission fund has been illegally tied up with Ayushman Bharat and color coding. We say that we make it saffron. Why? We have to understand why. Why this special hatred for Bengal? There are attacks on other states. It is because twice you have raised this bogey that Bengal is in mein hai and you have thrown out. We are, we, whatever pressures you put, we shall not accept the three, we shall not accept the three Nitis of, we shall not accept, please sit down. We shall not accept your communal agenda. We shall not accept your caste agenda. We throw out caste and we shall not accept the repression of women. Bengal is the only state. Bengal is the only state. आप दोनों बैठे sir, आपकी बात रिकॉर्ड पे नहीं जा रही है कटिंग इनटू बैट यू स्पीक सर लेट मी पुट इट बंगाल बंगाल इज द ओनली स्टेट माय फ्रेंड्स दैट हैज 38% वुमन एमपीज इन राज्यसभा 38% एंड 38% वुमन एमपीज इन लोकसभा ले जा बैठ जा हम समवेयर क्लोज पे द बात करेंगे आई डोंट नो हु दिस पे आपकी बात रिकॉर्ड पे नहीं जा रही प्लीज वी हैव से the excuse given by finance is up UC ne dete. UC means utilization certificate ne dete. Ab dekhe CAG report of 21-22 what it says in para 4.16. It says 32 central ministries have not submitted UCs for 442,800 UCs. Yeah, UC, UC, UC karte. Sir, the happiest news is what the president has said in para 4. It's happy to me for a very, very historical reason that we shall be celebrating 75 years of the Constitution. But I go back to history, to the organizer, a paper of the RSS of 30th November 1949. And I go back to Golwalkar Ji's Bunch of Thoughts, part three, page 19. I'm quoting from there. The worst thing about the Indian Constitution of Bharat, that there is nothing Bharatiya about it. There is no trace of ancient Bharatiya laws. Manu's laws were written long before. And Manusmriti is not our constitution. This is his words I am quoting. And I, it, I am glad that after so many 75 years, the, his descendants have decided to eat these words with tomato sauce and join the constitutional club. Sardar Patel, as you know, had banned the organization for 18 months. And at the end of 18 months, he got an assurance that they will abide by the constitution. Incidentally, when we talk of emergency, there is no one who supports emergency. But we don't talk of Sardar Patel banning the organization for 18 months. And you build statues on the man who banned you. Statues on the man who banned you. I come to para 22 because there is a reason. I come for to para 22 because there is a reason. Jump. Because today is a black day. Today is 1st of July. Today is 1st of July and will be remembered. Today is 1st of July and will be remembered like the 13th of April 1919, Jallianwala Bagh Day. Because our laws our safe criminal laws that have worked well have been trampled, have been brought in, have been discarded without discussion when 146 MPs were suspended. And what does this, what does this talk of? Why? 
this talks of anti-colonial, that this was, that was colonial, and this is anti-colonial. Yeah, who participated in the anti-colonial movement? It was this side. We participated in the anti-colonial movement. You ran away from it. anti-colonial, anti-colonial This one, this BNS section 111 makes writing and speech also to be an act of terrorism. I don't know how many of us were, will be arrested under it because it does not require a warrant for a police officer to arrest. Under section 150 of the BNS, it criminalizes subversive activities without defining what is subversive activities. Now, what I'm saying about the government, I'm bound and as a member of the opposition to say, is this subversive? I don't know because I may be arrested. I keep some stock of medicines for the hard jail. Now, having said that, there's this section 150 brings in a very interesting provision. One who excites people or stokes feeling of hatred can be banned and arrested. Prime Minister. Do we remember somebody who was stoking feelings and exciting people with Mangal Sutras? Yes. With one community taking all your jihadis, with six as Khalistanis, which is that community? We will come under this act. I want a clarification from the Home Minister. Ki, is such person who makes such comments amenable to action under Section 150 of the BNS or is it just a showpiece? As I said, 172, police can arrest anyone, including Dr. Shivadasan, without warrant. Remember that. That is why I call it. You are stopping fasting as a political weapon. Fasting was a political and sacred weapon. Shaheed Jatin Das died in Lahore jail. Lahore jail. So that in 1929, so that political prisoners are not treated like criminals. Gandhiji went on fast in Pune. Remember? How will you remember? You did not participate in the freedom struggle. How will you remember what fasting is? Fasting as a political weapon has been taken up. Section 149 authorizes the police to go on, break up any form of political agitation. Please reconsider this law in a full house and then come to the point. About banks, you have mentioned in Para 17, Chhati Pulaga, bank, bank, bank. What have you done in your banks? In the last 10 years, you have wiped off 15.5 lakh crores. 15.5 lakh crores in the name of freedom. Out of this 15.5 lakh crores, who are the beneficiaries? On 12th December 23, the finance minister has said, frauds have eaten away 2.05 lakh crore. 2.05 is with the pura bagal, the entire pent up funds would have been done twice over. 2.5 lakh crores eaten up by frauds, and who are they? Nirav Modi, Behul Choksi, Jatin Shah, Vagare. They have destroyed 2.5 lakh. Then large industries have destroyed 7.4 lakh crores. IBA, All India Bank Association, say two thirds of the entire bad loans are accounted for by 13 favored houses. That's all. Videocon's debts were 46,000 crores. They were sold to Vedanta for 6%. 6%. What amount of herafin is going on? The next dreadful thing is that three days ago, you have operationalized the communication, the communication telecom act. This telecom act is another black act that was passed in December when we were thrown out of the house. Now, what does this telecom act say? Every sign, signal, writing, text, image, Sound, video, data stream, information. Every sign, signal, writing, text, image, video stream, data stream, information is amenable under the act for interception and for punishment. You send a signal to somebody else, government has now empowered it. Remember, nobody stays in power for eternity. So you will also suffer the consequence of the mischief of this act. This is entirely aimed at criminalizing and terrorizing those who have those who have broken those who have stood up to this government in the recent past, like Ravish Kumar, like Pun Prasan Bajpai, like Deshpath.
like Kunal Kamra, Dhruv Rathi. This is all aimed at them, aimed at them. I come towards, towards the last part of my, this thing, I'll continue for a couple of minutes more with the kind permission. Labor. Party ka hi samay lenge, party minute ka samay. Party by by time. Minute samay. Deenge, do char. Labor force. In the labor force, the highest degree of unemployment in the last 30 years is going on now. 8% is the rate of unemployment, which is the worst among the top 10 economies. We have one person, one state, one country to match us, and that is Italy. Usse thoda jada dosti ho rahe na bhi? Italy se hai? So, Italy ka bhi 8% and humari bhi 8%. Baki sab below 8%. We have, we have, what about jobs? The, your minister, H, Mr. H.T. Kumaraswamy has revealed four to five days ago that under the PLI scheme, U.S. Enterprise, US, uh, enterprise Micron Tech is charging the government rupees 3.2 crores per job created. For one job creation, 3.2 crores, 2,000 crores, 3.2 crores. Mujhe de di jena, bhai, so, cycle ke cycle, job tayar ka ding with 3 crores. For the poor, you say, poverty line, we have almost crossed it, eliminated. You have to feed 81 crore people and yet talk of a mythical poverty line. Either they are not poor and you are feeding them, force feeding them, or they are within the range of poverty. You talk of Jan or Shadhalai and all that. You have 25,000. It takes 60,000 people have to line up before one of those stores. You talk of women. The labor force participation ratio among women is the lowest, I repeat, lowest among all top countries in the world. We are between, we are now above, uh, sorry, below the sub-African countries below Central Asian countries, below East European countries, below Kyrgyzstan, Chad, Mauritius, Patani, Mauritiana, everything. There is a complete distress going on and you are not realizing it. The Honorable President has spoken about the green era. The Environment Minister mentioned that he has stopped two lakh trees from getting cut. But where the green era is concerned, every law that pertains to the environment, water, air and uh, the ground, all of them have been amended with brute majority. Our pollution is one of the worst. I don't need to tell people in Delhi about our pollution. But there's a stunning fact that has come out. And this fact has come out in the national domain that India has used more coal, more thermal power than all of Europe put together and all of North America. And we keep promising that we are towards non-fossil forces. I will end here by, telling the, by requesting the railway minister to kindly devote some time to armed janta trains, to train safety, to coverage, to taking 1.5 lakh posts that are vacant in the safety department only so that we don't get repeated, we don't get repeated, repeated accidents. We do not want bullet trains, bullet trains. We want our normal trains to be safe, yes. our normal trains. So the last word that I'll say is that you are giving highest priority of 10 lakh crores, 11 lakh crores to infrastructure. And what is happening? Previously, when the rain fell, the roofs leaked. Now the roofs fall and papers leak. Papers leak. With these words, thank you. I thank you, sir.